we got home from the ocean and uh, taking the slide out and it was making some racket. So we got it out and tried bringing it back in and it ended up stripping a gearbox. So I take the motor and the trimming off and the gearbox off and I, ordered, I got a gearbox ordered. So, so this is what it looks like with the trim on it. <clears throat> this is a slide on the other side. The motor and gearbox, it's above floor, so it's up underneath that panel right there. So once I get it done on the other side, I'll put the trim up and we'll be good to go. About four or five days before I get the gearbox and get it completed. I'll give you a check it out when we get it done. So, my son took me out tonight. Just the two of us. We're going to see Franklin Graham. We're pretty excited about that. I'll show you some little pieces of it while we're there. And my, and my name's Mike Craig. <laughs> <laughs> and my handsome son. <laughs> we're going to have fun. God uses prayer, okay? God can God can turn anything around. Many people think, oh, it's it's too late. It's not too late. It's too late if the church doesn't pray. It's too late if the church just gives up. Well, I don't believe in giving up, I don't back up, and I certainly don't run. And I think that we as Christians, we need to take a stand and we need to pray. For our leaders, we need to pray for our president. We need to pray for our vice president. You need to pray for your governor. You need to pray for your representatives from Washington State in Washington, D.C. And if we pray for them, I believe God can guide and direct their lives and the decisions they make. But if we don't pray, if we don't ask God to intercede, He just may let this country continue on this downward spiral. And I believe this downward spiral can be interrupted. I believe it can be stopped if the church of Jesus Christ would take a stand and if they would pray. So we quite enjoyed the concert and <laughs> now we're having a traffic jam and this is the parking lot and this is the first row. We <laughs> and multiply that all over the place. And it's a good thing that my son is so patient and can just sit here and wait, <laughs> right? I don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> I got no place to be. Okay. Well, but some of these cars, they're, they're, see them all crooked in the road? They're having a breakdown. They can't wait. So huh? I'll, I'll let you know how long we're, we're here for. I don't know. You think Joe enjoys his uh, RV life? Looks like he's having a good time right there. Huh, Joe? You comfortable? Huh? Yeah, <laughs> he's a character. You see Port Orchard over there. You can see the shipyards, but can you see all the, all the hazy smoke? That's from all the fires on the west coast. 
Yeah, all the smoke has blown into Bremerton the last couple of days. You can barely see is that the sun up there, but yeah, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad out. Package came in today. Got my new gearbox for my uh, slide. So I'll be putting that in today. And it feels nice and tight. I hope it turns. <laughs> we'll be we doing that. Oh, look down here too. I re replaced my uh, socket, and I put in uh, uh, one with two USB ports. And then I did another one over by my computer desk. So, and I also put one in by my computer desk. I took out one of my chairs and made me a little, uh, you want to take a picture of that? And I took out one of my easy chairs that broke and I put in a, got a little desk from Walmart and a computer chair and, uh, and I got my own little office space. Got my computer on it, freed up the kitchen table. <laughs> now we can use the kitchen table. And then kept one of the easy chairs with the centerpiece and uh, I'm all set to go so walking through Home Depot to get some finishing nails so I can put my paneling back up after I get the slide fixed and uh, she walks pretty good in the store she walks better in the store she does out in the road <laughs> until she smells something <laughs> well I got the new, mo new gearbox in same motor, got it all adjusted. We spent a couple hours adjusting it, figuring out how to adjust it. I read the things, I read the, watched the videos on it, but sometimes they don't tell you everything. So now I'm putting on the anti vibration foam, and I've taken it in and out a couple few times. It, uh, I, got it, I got it set, it comes in nice and flush goes out nice and flush. It don't have that hopping anymore when it comes in. When it was coming in, it was hopping. This gearbox is nice and tight. Uh, now I gotta put on the cover pieces. I got some new nails. I'll get them up and I'll be done. It's not really hard to do. It's mechanically inclined. You can get her done. One thing I suggest that I didn't do is <clears throat> before you take it apart, get fingernail polish and mark the tooth and the link on the top and bottom that these are on and uh, that way you get the chains back in the right spots and then from there it's just adjusting these up. I would take it all the way out when you get it all the way out <coughs> provided you can take it out and then get a couple jacks and jack up each side so it's level and then when you're all done and you're ready to put the new one in it's already pretty much level and you can do your adjusting other than that i had a good time doing it <laughs> that's it for now we'll, we'll show you when we get all the wood back up yeah. so it's all back together all the all the trim back and uh, got the mess all cleaned up. <laughs> Get the trigger put back together after having our slide stuck. And there's Mike. He says it feels much more sturdy over there now. So, I think this is it for this week. We'll see what goes on again next week.